<laughs> Welcome back. Our friend Christopher Lloyd from the Fill Me Up is back to share yeah, the is. best movie reviews around. And I love that you were just singing with Chef Terry over Yeah, that there. was pretty great. That was a moment. He's great. so fun. Yeah. Love the vest today, Chris. Oh, thanks. I like it. We're, we're, we're in that, you know, like third summer phase now. Yeah. We got our uh -huh. false fall now. Yeah. Now, so. <laughs> Here uh, we are. Chris, you got the best movie reviews in town, you we and your do. team at the Film Yap. Let's, let's roll right into it. What's new in theaters this weekend? So the big one out this week is The Woman King, starring Viola Davis. Okay. Uh, and this is based on true history, uh, like in the 1820s, a uh, tribe in Africa fighting off all these colonials trying to come in mm. uh, wow. and take over. And this is based on a real group of women warriors nice. uh, that were like the elite of the elite back in that time. Uh, and obviously Viola Davis and all them, they, you know, they like, trained for months and wow. exercised and lifted weights and it looks really convincing. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but we'll have a review up soon and it's getting really good reviews. Kind of got a little bit of a brave heart feel to it. Okay, yeah. all right. And I love Viola Davis. She's incredible. She's so good. So yes. You know it's going to be a Oscar movie. winner. The yeah. Woman King. Okay, all right. Well, coming up next, we have God's Country. What's that one about? So this stars Sandy Newton and this is about a college professor living in some unnamed northern state. Very, it was winter, very bleak. She lives in a distant, remote canyon, okay. and she gets in this conflict with some hunters who are like coming on her land without her permission, and it kind of escalates, threats, violence, things like that. And you know, based on that description, you kind of think you know what's going to happen. It's almost like a modern-day Charles Bronson kind of affair, yeah. revenge yeah. saga. And it really goes sideways from your expectations. We like find things about it, these hunters that maybe we didn't expect. We find out things about Sandy Newton's character that maybe we didn't expect. And there's a nice subtext there going on about how she's very otherized, living in this area. Uh, just a very interesting, grim but rewarding drama. She's Andy great. Newton is another good one. Yeah, yes. she's uh, her in Westworld is just she's just incredible. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, Chris, talk to us about see how they run. So this stars uh, Saoirse Ronan and Sam Rockwell. It's like a 1950s comedy caper. It's about mm. a murder that's taken house in a play, taken in a playhouse. Uh, they were getting ready to turn the play into a movie, and I guess maybe there's some jealousies. Somebody's dead, uh, and lots of like you know <laughs> slamming doors and dead. this Somebody's kind dead. of thing. Didn't see this one. They refused to let me see it to review, which is never what? a good sign. What? Wow. It's not getting very good reviews, but it looks interesting, so we'll have to see. Wait, so if they don't let a film critic see something, is that usually a sign that they think it's going to get bad reviews? That's a good question, Jill. Sometimes, yeah. You, it either means they're lazy, oh. or oh, okay. they know that they've got a bad. That they, know, they know they've got that stinker on their hands, yeah. and they oh. figure no press is better than bad press. All it's right. unfortunate, but it happens. See how they run. Might be a okay. dud. All right, let's go to a uh, pearl. <laughs> So this is a horror film. If you guys remember uh, the horror film X that came out about just five or six months ago, uh, about like a, f a film crew in the country in the 1970s getting slowly murderized, uh, and there was a <laughs> old couple in this, including an old woman who did lots of the killing. Spoiler alert. Oh. Uh, so this is the prequel. So this is looking at that same character played by Mia Goth, you know, like 50, 60 years earlier, her young life and how she became a homicidal young thing. Oh, so we'll have a review of that up also very soon. Sounds like one for the whole fam. Yeah. Chilling! <laughs> Lots hey, of murderizing is going on in these yeah. weeks. These wow. episodes, yeah. Halloween season, you know, you gotta get the scary movies out. Dark. What's new on demand this weekend? So interesting thing is Confess Fletch, mm. and this stars John Hamm as the Fletch character. Remember Chevy Chase? Sure. Played him big hit back in the 80s. They've been talking for decades about bringing the character back. Uh, so this is kind of a new take. It, it's not that big laugh out loud kind of, you know, wearing the goo, the buck teeth and all that kind of stuff that Chevy did. This is John Hamm. It's more wry and dry. Okay. The setup is that he's on a case. He's a former investigative reporter, now a PI, investigating some stolen paintings and a murder surrounding that. And then he himself gets suspicious, uh, is suspected of committing another murder. Hmm. So he's to solve two murders, the one he was hired for and the one he himself is suspected of. Uh, we've got a review up here from Alex Sims, and he gives it high marks for just sort of a different take on the character, and again, more of a dry, wry okay. yeah. sense of humor. All right, confess Fletch. All right. Wow, that looks like a good one. It does. Well, as usual, Chris, you always let us know what to watch. Best way to follow along with you? Of course, filmyapp.substack.com. Head on over there, read what I like, and hit that subscribe button. You can get all this awesome content in your email inbox as soon as we publish it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Always Good pleasure. suggestions.